To your teacher? I did, but he has done nothing about it. Oh, sweetheart. I'm sorry, okay? You know what? Don't worry. I'll definitely report it myself, eh? I'll come to your school tomorrow. Hmm? Cheryl, your yeah, comments go inside. I already made you something to eat. You need to change your clothes. Hmm? Cheryl! Nothing, sweetie. I'm just not hungry anymore. <coughs> you barely touched your food and you're saying it's okay. Sweetie, it's because I lost my appetite. I'm okay. Then I've lost mine too. Noella, eat your food. Noella, please eat your food. Hmm? Has it started again? What? Your throat. How did you know about Though I'm a kid now, that doesn't mean I'm blind. What is really wrong with you? Father Lord, please, don't let anything happen to my mom. I beg of you, please. Heal her from whichever sickness that is bothering her. I want to see her healthy again. Father Lord, my daddy, any problem in his business, Father Lord, please get it away and solve it in Jesus' name. Father Lord, I'll pass my examination and I'll make my mommy happy. I'll make my daddy happy. Oh, baby, I'm so sorry I'm back on late again. I, I was held up in traffic. I'm so oh, sorry. It's okay. okay. Nana wanted to say happy birthday to you. Oh, uh, has she gone to bed? Of course, it's 9 p.m. Oh, I'll see her tomorrow. I'm sorry, baby, okay? I'm sorry. It's okay. I'll make it up to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Sweet, baby. It's uh, all right. It's okay. just, you almost ruined your birthday. Yeah, I'm really, really sorry. I promise to make it up to you and to Noella tomorrow. Okay. Okay? All right. <laughs> so, um, were you able to go to the hospital today? Honey, today's not about me. It's about you, okay? So, come. <laughs> Let's celebrate. Baby, this cake can wait. You are the sweetest cake ever. Oh my darling. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so what do you wish me? I wish you more me, more me, and more me. Oh, come here, baby. Oh. I love it's you so, so, so much. I love you too. <sighs> Sleep tight. Sweet dreams. Love you, man. Love you too, my angel. Oh. This is Daddy trying to make up for his absence yesterday, which was my birthday. I'm really sorry for keeping you waiting, okay? 
It's okay, Dad. Apology accepted. Thank you so much. I knew you forgot your birthday. Sincerely, I totally forgot about my birthday. That's so silly about me. Okay, so it's time for us to begin. Yeah. Alright, the first bite. Get it. Da. Get it. Come on. <laughs> get it, get it, get it, get it. Mm. How do you like it? Alright, so you can have this. Good, good, good. Here's your ice cream. So you can dig in. Mm. Where's your mom? Mom! Come and dig in with us! You can have your ice cream. Come on, let me go get it, okay? Don't finish it, I'm coming back. Tell before leaving. Oh, darling, you were already asleep. I hope you enjoyed yourself. <laughs> I tried to. And tell me you finished the food he bought for you. Oh, sweetie. 
I tried, I tried, but I don't want you to worry about anything, okay? You must always think positive thoughts. Everything will be all right. There's nothing I can't take care of, okay? Okay, Mom. All right, darling. What do you have here? I can't seem to understand this question. It's too hard. Okay, go get a chair. Okay, I'll help you. We'll do it together. Tell my daughter. I can't tell my baby what is happening to me. I didn't know you wanted to. I don't think it's a wise idea, at least not now. She needs to know. She deserves to know that I'm dying. Hey, hey, hey sweetheart, come on. Stop talking about death. You're not going to die, okay? God will not allow anything to happen to you, okay? Look, we have an endoscopy and a possible biopsy to, to go through. I'm very sure we'll get something negative from it. Okay. But it's already there, Richard. It's just... No, I know it was so hard for me to swallow. <coughs> sorry, sorry. Um, What's the possible uh, um, option the doctor gave? Maybe surgery. He says that that can only be possible if it hasn't already spread to other organs. No, no, no. It has us. I'm sure. Baby, don't worry. Everything will be fine, okay? You'll be strong, you'll be back, you'll be happy. Everything will be fine. You're not dying. Stop saying that, please. Okay? Be strong. Joella? What are you doing, sweetie? I'm looking for the meaning of the word cancer. Wait. What did you just say? I overheard you and Dad talking about cancer, so I wanted to know if it kills people. believe this. Cancer? Oh no, Esther. You're too young to suffer this. I guess. I guess that's how God wants to take me. Oh my God. That's why Noella is still this young. How do you even tell this to her? She already knows. She does? God. What she doesn't know is how long I have to last. Nothing is going to happen to you, okay? Nothing. I know God won't let it happen. Don't you believe in miracle anymore? I do. But I guess I have to take the good with the bad. I'll, I'll start chemotherapy soon. Mom and 
I know already. But what I don't know is how long she has to live. Does she get to grandma's age before she dies? Of course. Even more than grandma's age. I mean, um, well, it's not something that's going to kill her. I mean, there's a drug she's taking already and she'll be fine. Okay? Sweetheart, I don't want you to think about this. Okay? Now let's go to school. You're already late. report here, this is exactly the same thing my sister was diagnosed of. But she had a surgery and they got rid of it. And she was okay. Yeah. What kind of surgery is that? My dear, I don't know, but I think what they did was they used a part of her intestine to form an esophagus for her. And yeah, I think that's what they did and she got fine. She was okay. Are you serious? Yeah. The cancerous tumor was removed. She even had four kids for her husband now. Mm. I was shocked when you told me that you had this kind of disease. It's meant for advanced people, not for young women like you. My dear, same here. Oh, God have mercy. How's your child? Hmm? Oh, she's fine. She went to school. That's okay. I am. Um, I have an appointment to my doctor today by 5 p.m. We're going to discuss, you know, our options and see what we're open to. Yeah. I even, I even coughed blood last night. You coughed blood? Yeah. I don't understand. Do you have ulcer? Well, well, I used to have ulcer, but we treated it and. You know, I'm fine now, but I don't know. Maybe it's back again. Or maybe not. You should go see a doctor or probably get your chest scanned. Depending on the doctor's prescription. Don't worry, you'll be fine. We're here for you. <laughs> Thank you, my dear friend. So tell me, how's your workplace, your boss? <laughs> my boss. Let's just forget about him. Let's talk about you. Nothing about me. Don't worry, you'll be fine, okay? Coughing, mom. What's going on? Oh, come here. Why did you tell me about this new development? Listen, it's nothing. It's just um, it's probably a little cold, but I'll go to the doctor soon. What could make a person cough out blood? Mom, I'm scared. It's not blood. It's what I ate. It's not worry. Don't be scared, okay? I'll be fine. Noella, I'll be fine. It's just. I think it's, I drank so much, so that must be it. But I'll be alright, okay? Nothing is going to happen to me. Come here, let's go this way. It's my way. <laughs>
You said you're not going to teach me how to cook until I'm 10. Well, I changed my mind, dear. Or are you leaving me? Why would you think it... <clears throat> Why would you think a thing like that? Because I won't let you, Mom. You're not going to leave me. Oh, shh. Come here. I'm not leaving you, okay? I'm here. All right? You must promise me that you stop thinking any kind of negative thoughts. Okay? Just stay positive. I'm here for you. Hmm? Mom, I asked my teacher the meaning of cancer and she was surprised. You what? <laughs> Cancer. Yeah. I hope he hasn't spread to other vital organs. Well, she went for an x-ray today and um, we don't know the results yet. Hopefully tomorrow we will know. Well, well yeah, if it hasn't spread, I have a friend whose father deals with anything cancer. Deals with, as in, what do you mean? Healing. He heals cancer patients and he's an Indian man. An Indian man? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. And are you serious about this? I'm serious. See, um, it's actually a very good thing that you told me about it. You know, a lot of people, they find it difficult to tell people about cancer, especially when they have it. So, um, at least, hopefully, hopefully, if it hasn't spread, we can still do something about it. What you do, just speak to your wife about it, then let me know. Sure, I will speak to her about it. Man, thank you so much. Oh, you know, no. I was really finding it difficult to talk to you about it. But yeah. now I'm so glad I did. I can imagine. Like I said, we actually find it difficult to talk about it. Man, you're a man. Thank you so much. I can't wait to meet this Indian man. They just speak with her then by tomorrow at least to tell me what it is. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Man, let's drink. Wow, I can imagine what it is. I just feel it to be really right now. Nothing will happen. It should be fine. An Indian man? Yeah, uh, he said he can cure it. You already told your friend about it. I'm, I'm sorry, sweetheart. I, I, I have to do that, okay? And you know, I'm just going about seeking for a solution. I have to speak to him about it, and he provided a solution. But we're not even sure about this yet. Yeah, I know. But he spoke like someone who has witnessed the healing before, okay? Baby, let's just give it a try. But the only issue here is if the cancer hasn't spread to other parts of your body. We'll find out tomorrow. Are you okay? I'm fine. <coughs> Baby, are you okay? <coughs> it's okay. Sorry, sorry. I get you water. Sorry. I'm coming. Just hang on. <coughs> sorry. Up. <laughs> Noella. Hi, baby. Good morning, Mo. Good morning, darling. How was your night? I had a dream again and you woke me from it, Mom. What dream? Me becoming a doctor and this is the third time I'm having the dream again. Oh, I know, my doctor. <laughs> Mom, I really want to become a doctor so I can take care of you. Oh, darling, you're so sweet. So you can take care of me and your dad even more old, okay? You make sure you keep that dream alive, all right? Yes, mom, I won't disappoint you on that. Oh, you're so sweet, thank you. All right, so you need to go get ready for school. You're already late, I'm afraid. You woke up late today. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, mom. It's fine. Just make sure that you promise me that you will not mention anything about cancer in school today. Promise? Promise. Thank you, promise. Yay. <laughs> Let's go. Good girl. Doctor, please talk to me. What does it say? I really do not know how to tell you this. Tell me what? From this history, the cancer has really spread to your lungs. 
and your chances of surviving this so so slim. So so what? Mom, you're in fine spirits today. Well, don't you like it? I do, and I've missed this mood of yours for a long time. You're such a darling. Mm. Anyway, guess what? What? Mom's got a new job. Really? Ta-da! <laughs> it's been long coming. Congrats, Mom. Thank you, sweetie. You're so sweet. See, I'm no longer a housewife. I now get to work, eh? <laughs> All right, hurry up, eat your food, eh? Let me go and wash the uniform. But, Mom, I can do it. No need to worry. Let me see. What did you tell me? I'm in fine spirits. So, guess what? I am going to wash the uniform for you. Hmm? Just eat. I get to spoil you today and finish that food. <laughs> You seem to be in high spirit today. <laughs> What's the secret? Oh well, can't a woman be cheerful? I mean, you sound just like your daughter. Sure, <laughs> you ought to be cheerful at all times. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> Thank you, I baby. have good news for you. I thought as much. <laughs> Shoot. So, um... <sighs> I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Mm -hmm. I, um... You know I don't have long to live anymore. And... What did you just say? <laughs> yeah. I'll be right back. Yeah, Ben. <clears throat> no, I'm not sure that'll be possible anymore. Yeah. The worst has just happened. I don't know. I don't know. Can I just call you back, please? Yeah, let me call you back, please. Yeah, thank you. So, who was that? Yeah, that's Ben, my friend. Uh, you know, the guy that introduced me to the Indian man I spoke to you about. Oh, well. I guess it's too late already. Sweetie, come, let's go. Mom, I thought his dad that is supposed to take me to school. Well, yes, but baby, he has a slight headache right now, eh? I have to be the one to take you. Let me go and see him. Eh, no, come. Uh -uh. Listen, eh? You know you're late for school. I need to rush you there, and then I still have to come back and get ready for my new work. Huh? Please. <clears throat> All right, Mom. Tell hmm. him I'll see him when I get back from school. I will, my darling. Let's go. Sweetie, why did you go to the hospital today without telling me? I went to see the doctors, Mom. Why? Nothing, Mom. I just needed to see how they operate. And I needed to see how they save patients. And I also met a lot of sick people today. Um, Mom, do people fall sick all the time? Listen, it's not right for you to go to the hospital alone, especially in this season of kidnapping. Uh -uh. Listen, don't do that again. I thought you wouldn't take me there. Why? Given to your condition, Mom. I wanted to become a doctor, Mom, so I can save you. My darling. Thank you. That is so sweet of you, but it's not safe to go to the hospital alone. Okay? Promise me you won't do that again. Yes. Good girl.
where you're going? I want to go get something from the car. You're avoiding me, Richard. Why would you say that? Because I can see. And I know. I see, Richard. Is this the encouragement you're supposed to be giving me? See, baby. I'm not, I'm not happy with the way things are. And I'm going to do everything within my powers to save you from this. Well, the doctor said I... Barely happy yet to leave. Oh, just, just stop it. The doctor is only making assumptions here. He's not even sure of what he's saying. Only God decides. And besides, baby, you look healthy. Do I really look healthy? I mean, look at me. Do I really look healthy to you? of water today you're taking and yet you're still finding it difficult to swallow. Darling, some days are like this, okay? I can only hope that tomorrow will be better. Hmm? Are you sure you're not supposed to go to a hospital? Why? Because that's where sick people go until they're better. You want me to leave this house? I want us both to leave this house to a hospital. My darling, you can't do that, eh? What happens to your education? Hmm? I have to stay here and take care of you. I want you to be better, Mom. I'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> Mom? Yes, no. Give me your Bible. Why? Um. <laughs> okay. That's a nice day. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, Lord, we thank you for this day, for keeping us alive in Jesus' name. Thank you. Father, Lord, any evil that is surrounding my mommy, let it go away in Jesus' name. Amen. Let my mommy be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, my darling. Come here. Thank you. The child is right. You need to go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. And be away from home, right? Baby. You've barely eaten this past few days. You need a hospital. At least, if food can pass through, you can be given intravenous transfusion, depending on when there's an alternative. <laughs> alternative, you say? Darling, there's no alternative to death. It's certain. Why, why do you always say these things without remorse or even pity? Because I don't know what Noella to find out about this. Okay, I don't want you to pass off feelings about this to her. She knows that I have cancer, but she does not know how long I have to live, and I want it to stay that way. I'm not going to any hospital. I'm going to be in this house, and that's fine. How's your night? Not good, Mom. Ah, uh, okay, see, I'm really gonna hear about this right now, okay? We need to go prepare for school. You're already late. Have you tell me about it? Why I make your food, eh? I'm not going to school. Why? Because I had a bad dream last night, Mom. A bad dream? About what? I saw you packing your things to travel, and I was asking to follow, but you refused and left. I wept loudly, but you never turned back. My darling, I will never leave you, okay? 
Mm, I love you so much. Mom, please don't lead me to anywhere. I won't, my darling. I promise. All right? Oh, so sweet. Oh yeah, come, 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 come. Like you're ready for school. <laughs> Hurry. Thank you so much for lunch. You're welcome. The lunch that you barely even ate. <laughs> but you know I'll always be there for you whenever <clears throat> you need me. Hmm? Yeah. I know. Thank you. You should try and eat more often. You're getting leaner. Look at you. Look at your body. You see, I, I don't know. I mean, I've been trying to eat, but I can barely eat anything these days. Is it that bad? Bad enough. The cancer they say has uh, spread to the lungs. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Yeah. But well, I need you to promise me something. Hmm? You must promise me that you will take care of me when I'm gone. Stop it. Let's just stop it right there. Nothing will happen to you. I've told you this before. Please, just promise me. Yes, Don't you believe in miracle anymore? I still do. I know God will give us this last minute miracle. Please. your food because mom hasn't eaten hers and she expect me to eat while she starves where's she in her room i guess you know she's not feeling fine okay that sick people manage to eat with their daughters and mom no longer does that and she expect me to eat while she starves i can't dad it's okay okay i'll go speak with her hmm? Um, I guess uh, she's fasting, that's why she has refused to taste anything. Okay? So eat your food. Hmm? Try to eat your food, okay? No, baby, eat your food, okay? Baby, you have to take this, okay? Um, it will make you feel better. Mm -mm. Here. I don't want to take anything. Baby, please just try it, okay? No, I don't want A friend of mine told me that Fruit juice is lighter and easier to go through the esophagus than ordinary water. Okay, just do this for me, please. Okay? Mm. Gently. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Just try and swap it going through, okay? Gently. Are you okay? Sorry, so sorry. We have to get to the hospital really nearly, okay? From the gastroenterologist's observation, the throat cancer is getting worse and you will no longer be fed orally. An NG tube will be inserted through your nose. An NG tube? Doctor, what's the meaning of that, please? Um, it's a feeding tube that will be inserted through her nose down to her stomach. Doctor, please. Are you saying I will... Um... I'll be fed through my nose. Yes, I'm so sorry about it. Okay? Alternatively, 
um, your stomach will be open so that the tool can be passed through your nostril down to your bones. It can only happen in worst cases like this. I'm so sorry. So please, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to be fed through a tube. Sweetheart, you know you haven't eaten for days. No. Doctor, please. Can we, um, can we, you know, go with an intravenous infusion for now? Pending when I decide to get the tube. It's okay. Okay. I'm good try. I'm so sorry. Sit down. You'll be fine. Spaghetti. I didn't know that you learned. I wasn't only totally watching, Mom. I was learning. And um, the stew was in the freezer, so I had to warm it. You did well, darling. I'm so proud of you. And I thought I messed up. Oh, no, you didn't. You actually did very well. You know what? Next time, I'm going to teach you how to make jello spaghetti. <laughs> you like that? I'm so sorry that that I forgot to um, I forgot to make food for you before I left. Oh my God, back hungry, and there's no one in the house to help me, so I had to make this food, Mom. Anyway, girl. And Mom, you're not eating. Open your mouth. suggested it. But at this stage, how long do you think you can live with that? I'm not going to put a tube through my nose. Richard, if Noella sees me like that, it's going to shatter her heart. I don't want to give her the impression that I'm dying. Oh, can you just stop talking about death? Uh, stop talking about it. Honey, you will live long with, with a feeding tube than an intravenous infusion. Mm -hmm. Believe me. Live long in sickness. Is that supposed to be some type of consolation? Just like what the doctor said, your body can't get all the nutrients it needs to function if you're not feeding well. Don't think that this is easy for me. It's not. I don't understand. You, you're just comfortable with death locking a little ahead of you. You don't think about what's going to happen to me and our daughter Noella when you are gone. You, you don't. Why are you doing this? accepted my fate. The only problem is I don't think 
Richard understands this, he still thinks that there's something that could be done to save me. So, what medical options were you given? Uh, an intravenous... <coughs> an intravenous transfusion and tube insertion. Okay, okay. Wow. I still can't believe you're faced with this. Seriously. Well, I refused. I told them no. Do you know how it would break my daughter's heart if she sees a tube pass through my nose? But you go, you have to feed. You will die if you don't feed. I'll die anyway. The thing is, I don't know if the sickness gets worse. Do you know anybody who's died of cancer before? Well, what I know is the chest pain will get worse. Mm. Yeah. But the chest pain is already getting worse. My eye seems to be getting yellowish. Which is a sign of a liver related issue. Oh my god, Esther. No, no, no. I, I think it's uh, Mabel. No, Dad. It's definitely... Hey, come on. I don't think so. Let's go. You're running late. Dad! Sweetie, see, you're running late already, okay? I'm sure Mom can take care of herself, even if she's the one coughing. We have to please check on her. Sure. As soon as I'm back from dropping you off at school, I will definitely come back home to take care of her. Hmm? Let's go. You're running late. so early. Huh? Are you alright? Yes, Mom. Why are you back home so early? What's the time? What I lied to my teacher, Mom. You lied? I don't understand. I lied and told her I was having a stomach upset. So she asked me to go home. I wish you'd lie. Huh? I was worried about you, Mom. And the cough is getting chronic. I'm okay. Alright, I'm fine. I'm just a little weak, but I'm okay. <coughs> I needed to be sure you're alright. And I'm sorry I had to lie. It's okay. Mm. It's fine. Mm. I'm just a bit weak, you know. But I'll be fine. <laughs> Besides, I'm not in a hospital, am I? But that doesn't make me to worry less. Or does it? My baby. You're too smart for me. <laughs> Make a wish. 
Uh, no, before you do so, wait first. <laughs> Let me tell you a brief story, okay? About how your dad was so scared when I was trying to have you in the labor room. He was like shaking and very scared. Go mm. I came out healthy and I had a bouncing baby girl. Hey, do you have to tell her about that? Yes. <laughs> Sincerely speaking, that day I was so shaking. I was so much in fear. I was worried. Just praying while I was hearing bush screaming and everything. Mm -hmm. I prayed and prayed, but well, God answered me and gave us this beautiful baby. So yes. happy birthday, my priceless jewel. Alright, make a wish, blow your candles. I wish for mom to be better. Oh, um, baby, thank you. I've been sitting down here, no one is telling me what's happening to my wife. How is she, please? Mr. Richard, I'm so sorry. We lost her. You are so, so sorry. You lost her? Doctor, it's not possible. My wife can't be dead. You don't understand. Just tell we me. We tried she... all we could, but we lost her. You lost her? I'm so sorry. Please take she's care. She's dead? I'm so sorry. Doctor, she's dead. Doctor. Doctor. I've been struggling to solve this math assignment my teacher gave me and I've not succeeded. The question seems very confusing and mom is not here to help me. Don't worry, mother. I will help you out, okay? What if mom, I've been trying to call her phone but it's not connecting. I have not seen her since I got back from school. No, no. Have you eaten today? Yes, Dad, but you've not answered my question. Come here. Come here. Don't worry. I'll answer your question. Okay. I'll answer your question.
Dad, what is it? You don't look like you slept last night. No, I didn't. Why? And you told me that Mom went for night with you. She's supposed to be back by now. to hear right now. Your mom. Your mom is dead. God forbid, Dad. How can you say such a thing? It's true. My life's true. She died yesterday. Your mom is gone. It's not true. that her body be buried immediately. I think at least you should give her body two weeks in the mortuary so you can plan yourself. I just want her to be buried so that the anger and the pain in my heart can, can be doused. Since God has decided to allow this to happen after I, I prayed all day and all night for him to show mercy, but he decided to allow my seven-year-old daughter to become motherless, just like that. I understand your grief, my brother, but you see, God created and God has taken. We can't question his actions. I just okay. want her to be buried. I just want her to be buried so I can move on with my life. Since God has decided to, to, to make me a widow at this young age, let me just let me move on. See, Richard, you can't be angry with God. Why won't I? Why? Tell me. For the sake of your child, remember your wife left her for you to take care of. Ben, look at me. Where do I start from? Where am I supposed to start from? Tell me. God will give you the wisdom and the strength 
See, it, it, it is wish, and I believe he knows why everything happened. Well, I think I agree with you for her to be buried immediately because um, there seems to be so much pain in your heart that needs to be lifted up. Um, meanwhile, how is your daughter? If, she, if given the chance, but her maker knows what's best for her this time. Okay. When are we going to join her in heaven? Can we go there tomorrow? No, no, we can't go there tomorrow. But we'll definitely go to heaven. But we'll have to finish all that God has for us here on earth before we think about heaven. Okay? Baby, please, promise me you stop thinking about mommy for now. But how am I going to forget her? How? It's okay, come on. It's okay. Okay, it'll be fine. Stop mom. crying, please. Okay. When my mom. It's okay, in real life, it's okay. so early. Oh, darling, I just said I'm sorry, okay? But dad, how can you not wake up early? And imagine you're still your night to wear. Um, well, I woke up early just like mom used to wake me up and I got ready for school. You should have woken me up. I didn't want to disturb you, dad. Okay, I'm sorry, okay? But I promise this won't happen again. Huh? So now it's time for daddy to drive like this on 007 and take you to school. If you're with me, high five. High five. Yeah. Now let's go. Let's go. Taking you to school. That's my girl. Give me a smile. Smile for me. <laughs> He's accepted from me. Thank you. I mean, you shouldn't have bothered yourself. There was no wife to take care of you and the child, so I thought to prepare something. I mean, you need to eat something reasonable in a seemingly long while, I guess. Oh, oh hot soup. <laughs> you made a hot soup? Thank you so much. My favorite. That's so thoughtful of you. <laughs> You're most welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So tell me, how have you been faring generally? Man, I must confess, it hasn't been easy. But we're surviving. God is your strength. I made your wife a promise to take care of her daughter. So please, just let me know any way I can be of help to you and her. Oh. 
I will. Thank you so much, Mary. You've been so helpful. Thank you so much. Oh, my bad manners. Let me get you something to drink, okay? Oh, you don't need... No, 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 no. I insist. One minute. Goodness, why are you not taking the ice cream I got for you? My mom said I shouldn't collect things from strangers. And even if I receive them, I should tell her before eating it. No, Allah, but I'm no stranger. You know me for God's sakes. But I still have to show my dad when he comes back. That's what I told Auntie Mary the last time she came. Auntie Mary? So Auntie Mary has been coming here? Yes, she brings food for me and my dad. She's a nice person, just like your auntie. Fine, how are you doing? Long time. Are you still in those Lagos? I should be asking you now. I heard you got a job in Abuja. Um, well, I did. But I was asked to remain here in the Lagos branch. Since I already live in Lagos, you know now. Ah, uh, so you decided to stay in Lagos? Uh, anyhow you put it, Jerry, I'm not ready to move to Abuja yet. Wow. Why would you not want to stay in Lagos when all your interests are here? What do you mean by that? <laughs> anyway, now you sabi. Ah, uh, I saw you coming out of Esther's house. Are you living there now? Leaving? Who oh, now? You only went to visit the man and his child. That's all. I think you should be visiting them more often. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's nice of you. Mm-hmm. All right, now I just said let me check up on you, okay? All right, sweetie, take care of yourself. I'll do just that. All right, dear. Have a nice day, too. Bye. <laughs> See, I'm not saying it's wrong for them to show care to you and the girl, but see, them bringing food to your house. 
somehow. Then, what do you mean? Eh? What I mean is, we know women. Two women come into a house for the same purpose. You check him down, he's this suspicious guy. My guy, see, uh, me, I don't have anything in mind. I don't even have their contacts. Eh? Okay, so they come in whenever they want, and uh, whatever they're doing is just of their own free will. I mean, I'm not compelling anybody. That's mm. it. You don't have their contacts. <laughs> come on. So, no, they just carry food, they come to your house. And they do home delivery now. <laughs> well, guy, I, I really think you should be more careful. You know, these girls, hey, you'll be hot cake now. Hey, you get one married. Uh, meanwhile, how is your daughter, sir? <sighs> Man, I just pity the poor girl. Now she wakes up early, does most of the house chores, even prepare herself for school. See, uh, her mom's death really dealt a big blow at her as a child. Well, I, I can imagine. <sighs> well, it's well, my brother. But I think you really need to start spending more time with her. You know, especially now that she's all alone. Exactly. You know, I thought about that. So I, I, I Thank you. I can say that now. We, your house now, don't become a restaurant. <laughs> get out. Of get out. <laughs> I've been standing under the scorching sun for like minutes now. There's no cab anywhere. Oh, I guess it's because of the uh, fuel scarcity. There must be other fuel station trying to get fuel. I guess so. What are you doing here? Well, I'm um, here to use the ATM oh. just to get some money. Okay. So where are you going from here? Oh, I'm home. I need to see how my baby is faring. Ah, good father. <laughs> okay, this is what we're gonna do. You're gonna follow me to the restaurant and then we eat and after that we can get something for your daughter. Oh sorry, I wouldn't want to inconvenience you, okay? I just want to go back home and spend time with Noella. I need to start making quality time for her. Doesn't she have a phone? Uh, no, she doesn't. Though I've called the home line. But I just want to go back home and really spend time with her. I understand you, okay? Totally. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Why don't you take me somewhere so I get something? And we can make our home when we get home. Like taking you to the market? Oh, anywhere. Probably a superstore. Something. Um, Come on, she needs food. <laughs> okay, alright. Okay. okay, I'll drive you to the market and you get whatever you want. That's fine. Alright. Okay. So why don't you wait in the car while I use the ATM so we can get money? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> alright. You look good. Hey, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Dad is in this room. How was your day? I'm hungry. Okay, I just missed something for us to eat. So, in a jiffy, I'll be through. I'm sorry, but I was going to tell you to move. I want to prepare something to eat. Come on, baby. I just made food for us. I'm telling you, you're going to like it. Just have a taste. Thank you, but I need to speak to my dad.
Dad, who's that lady in our kitchen? Oh, uh, that's Auntie Tina, your late mom's friend. You know her, don't you? And who gave her orders to cook for us? I did. Yeah, she came with things she bought from the market for making soup and she decided to make us a sumptuous meal. I don't need her in the kitchen, Dad. That's where mom used to stay and prepare food for us. Besides, I can cook too. I know. She's just helping. I don't need her help, Dad. I learned how to cook from mom. And I can cook anything for you, Dad. Not anything, honey. You know you're still a child. And besides, I see nothing wrong in someone helping, just helping out with cooking. I'm even thinking of getting as a nanny to help out with house chores, the cooking and everything. Noella! Noella, please listen to me. you like the food. If you don't, I can make a better one next time. But it's fair, right? No, no. Dad. Aren't you going to reply your auntie? She just asked you if you like this food. What do you want me to say? It's bad manners to talk while eating. Just say thank you. Richie, she's a kid, okay? She's not used to this. Mm. This soup is so delicious. Right? Our hot soup, my favorite. Oh, I never knew. Mm. Don't worry, I'm at your service. Oh. Anytime. Thank you so much. Dad, and I'm going to be late for school today. Oh God, I ever slept again? Is your school bus not coming around today? I thought you were supposed to drive me to school. Uh, Nala, please just, you need to go with the school bus. I uh, need to catch some sleep, okay? Dad! Nala, just go, please. Okay? Take care, Dad. Take care, Nala. I love you. Nala! Nala? It's me, Tina. Open up. see you again. What happened? And I forgot to get your contact the other time you came to the house. My dear, I had to stay away. I need to give you and your daughter the space you guys asked for. 
I don't understand. It's obvious she does not like me. From her attitude the last time I came. So, I had to just stay away. My daughter, you said. She's just a child. I told you not to mind her behavior. I thought you listened. I thought you understood. I'm sorry. It's just that I don't like showing up where I'm not needed. Let alone welcomed. It doesn't make sense. It's okay. You see, Tina, my house will always be open to you any time and any day. As a matter of fact, I, I want you over this weekend. Please. Okay. Okay. Cheers. Noella. Noella. Okay. I met Tina on my way back and she told me she came to the house and you locked her out. That's not Don't true. lie to me. Today is public holiday and you didn't go to school. I'm very sure you were in this house when she came knocking but you deliberately ignored her. What do you have against her? Nothing, Dad. Nothing? Then, then why are you rude and hostile to her? Why? You've not shouted at me before. Why this now? Yeah, be because you're getting me angry. Let me tell you something. You don't have any right to tell me who comes into this house. Okay? No right. I like her and I enjoy her coming to the house. So let today be the first and the last time she will come to this house and you will ignore her or even lock her out. Am I understood? Yes, Dad. Hey. You still keep this here? Come on. She's my wife. Was, Richard. She's dead. And that thing should be kept away and forgotten. Tina, it's not easy for me to just forget about her in a flash. I know. But you're not making it easier on yourself too, you know. Things like this will remind you of her. You need to let go. I'm sure my daughter won't be happy about that. There you go again. Your daughter is a child and like you always say, she will never understand. You need to move on, seriously. Okay, I... Okay, I'm gonna drink first. You know what? Let's can wait. Really? Yep. Richard, I'm really sorry about what happened to you. You're a nice man, trust me. You're one of the right choices my friend made when she was alive. She was a nice person and we all loved her. But she's gone. And you need to move on. You need to be there for Noella, not like this. And I, you have me, I can, I can help out. Yeah, there's Mary too, so don't be like this, please. Let's drink.
What is it? Good morning, Dad. Can you just tell me what you want? I'm dressed for church already. It's Sunday. And? We go to church together on Sunday. And I thought you're dressed already. No, I'm not in the mood. What? I believe you heard me. Something. Make what? My homework. I'm, I'm finding something difficult there, especially this number three. Oh, so now you need help. You remember there's somebody in this house to help you, right? Why don't you tell your daddy to go and help you? But dad is not always around. Well, I'm not in the mood to help anybody who's not my friend. But auntie, no. See, I'm not in the mood. Auntie, please. Don't bother me. Don't. Decided to get married to Tina. <laughs> Dad! Uh, see, you know, it's almost a year since your mom died, and uh, I've been so lonely and, 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 and sad, hence my decision to marry another wife. Oh no, Dad, not her! No, like, I don't understand. I don't need a mom, besides, she doesn't even like me! Who cares if you need a mom or not? I need a wife and that's why I'm going for her. And as for not liking you, I'm very sure you know you started it all first by being unfriendly to her. Dad, this is not right. At least get someone else, but why Enough, her? Noella. Enough. I believe I've passed the message across to you. Now, leave my sight. Dad, you do not- Out! What sense? Richard's wife. You're joking, right? I, I, I don't believe you. I mean, joking. Why would I be joking with something like that? Anyway, what do you want? You're even engaged. Oh, yeah. He proposed. And I said yes. See? It's barely a few months our friend died. And you're already engaged to her husband. Sorry, my dear, that I got to him before you. And the dead is never going to come back to life, you know. You should have respected the dead. Giving her at least a year before carrying on with your desperation. I am highly disappointed at you. You really kept telling me about your visits. I didn't quite understood what she meant, but now I can see. I can see clearly the motive for your visits. Sweetheart, we both wanted the same thing. And like I said, sorry I got to him before you. So your plans for staying in Lagos instead of Abuja has become very inadequate. You can leave, I have so many things to do. 
I sure will speak to Richard about this. He deserves to know the truth about who you really are. <laughs> you can tell Richard whatever you want. And you know what? You are leaving. Yes, that's the door. Of course I am. Rubbish. Jealous fool. Imagine. Nonsense. to insult my wife again. Do you understand? Your wife. <laughs> Richard, I'm really shocked at your behavior. It's barely a year that your wife died. And you insult her memory by taking in another man's wife. What nonsense are you talking about? Oh, she didn't tell you. I know she will not. But I made a promise to your wife to take care of your child upon her death. I don't care what promise you made to my wife. I don't. But I implore you to tell me what you mean by taking another man's wife. <laughs> so that man, Hunter, told you a lie about me and you believed her. Hey, I never said I believed her. Of course, she's making all these up, and I know it. I mean, how is this possible? Wait, me, Tina, married to another man before and have kids. Me. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. You know, I, I was shocked when I heard it because you never told me anything like that. Exactly. And what did you tell her? It doesn't matter. The fact remains that I love you. I don't care about her at all. Richard. That's a jealous woman talking. Her anger is that you prefer me to her. She wanted you, you know. Well, that's a bad luck. Come here. Come. Tina. I don't care about her. It is you, I love. You know, I love you so much. Okay. So much. Come here. Mmm. Hold on. Hey, come on. Hold on. <laughs> What's the rush? Give me some sugar. Ah, uh, little baby. <laughs> What's that? Mmm. Mm -hmm. So baby? sweet. Baby? Yeah, sugar, sugar. We need to send your daughter away. Away, as in, as in, away. Hello, Dad. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Fine, Dad. Um, Ella, um, I have decided to enroll you in a dormitory so you can concentrate very well. Dad? Huh? Dad, don't tell me it's that lady. Please be a gentleman enough to admit to that. Okay. I'm not here to banter words with you, bold girl. But you're leaving this house. What have I done to deserve this, Dad? You said you don't like her. So this is me giving you an opportunity to be far away from her. 
You promised mom that you'd take care of me. I should have known you don't have any intention of living up to that. I don't blame you, dad. It's mom I blame for leaving me. Will you just keep quiet and listen to me? Anyway, I believe I've communicated to you already. Well, dad, that would be secondary school. Because, funny enough, they don't have a dormitory in primary school. Oh, I thought you were in secondary school already. Can you just be fast and get into secondary school? Because you are beginning to bore me in this house already. Okay. I didn't see you the last time I came to the house. My auntie forbade me from coming out any time if he stirs around. Your auntie? You mean Tina? Your father's new wife? I don't like her. She's not friendly. She does not even help me with my assignments. That's your father's decision. Okay? And there is nothing you can do to change it. I wish I could leave the house already. But you can't. You know you can't. Besides, who are you going to leave your daddy with? He already wants me to go out of the house. He supports his wife to send me into a dormitory once I enter secondary school. Dormy what? That's so bad and unkind of him. I don't know what happened to my dad. He's no longer the man I used to call my dad and my friend. He promised to take care of me after my mom died. It's all right, honey. It's okay. Everything will be fine. Okay? I don't support your father's decision either. Hmm? Look, don't hesitate to come to me for help anytime you need it. Alright? You look tired and hungry. Why not come with me to my house? At least let's, let me get you something to eat, please. Before you go back... Why is Noella kneeling down outside? Oh, that. That's where she belongs, outside. Why? Can you imagine that girl? After school, instead of her to come back home, she followed Mary to her house. What? Mary took my daughter to her house? And the idiot followed. Only God knows what she has told her about us. Richard, see, I'm done. I can't condone that girl's this house anymore. No, yeah, I'm done. It's okay, it's okay. Let me talk to her. It's just... Okay. Ella! I told you not to go to Mary's house, didn't I? Just go straight to your room. Nonsense. Yeah. This is my daughter we're talking about here, okay? Let's just allow her for the night. Please, it's getting late. I said no. Hey, babe, what if something happens to her out there? I don't care. See, if this girl keeps living in this house, you're not gonna give me the attention I deserve. So where do you want me to send her to now that she's not in secondary school yet? See, if she continues living in this house, one day you're just gonna come back and hear a murder case. I can't stand her. Go on. It's okay. Alright, um, uh, it's my daughter we're talking about here. Okay, let's just allow her for the night time. Tomorrow, I'll fix this. Okay? Just for this night, Richard. Just for this night. 
Hey, you're so angry. Why won't I be? She makes me so agitated and nervous. Come on, it's okay. She's just a child. Yeah, I know. Okay. I'm super starving. What's for dinner? Mmm. I made your favorite. Are you serious? Oh, come here. Come to my room. My baby, all right. I can't wait. I'm super hungry. Okay. <laughs> I'll be out in five minutes. All right. Hey, sweetheart. You're so delicious. Mmm. <laughs> Don't do that. School, Dad. Um, Nola, sit down. There's something I need to tell you. No. Let her keep standing so she will understand the importance of what you're about to tell her. I'm listening. Good. Um, you see, I have decided as um, the man of this house to separate you from, um, from my new wife um, so she can face her marriage by concentrating on me, mm -hmm. her husband. Separate me? How? Noella, you, you will have to leave this house today. Leave? To where, Dad? Who do I go to? I've been... I've been thinking about it since, since last night and um, I've decided that um, you have decided that you have to... No. Um, I have decided that since you like Mary that much, you should go live with her now. Yeah. Dad, are you support of that? You see, I'm sorry, honey. You see, I, I can't have her kill you for const constantly making her angry. So um, you will have to go. Okay? You have to leave today. Yeah. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm so proud of you. So, um, you put your things together. I'll, I'll come back. I'll take you to Mary's house, okay? Bye. you away and you got here all by yourself how did you locate here i was paying attention the last time i came oh poor thing come here I'm so sorry I'm sure your wife will be turning in her grave for what you did. Richard, how could you send your only child away simply because of a woman? You don't get it. I didn't send her away, but to you, who made a promise to her mother to take good care of her. So please do that. As for me, I'm going to take good care of my wife and those amazing kids she's going to give me. I can't wait for that. <laughs> Listen to yourself. Amazing kids. Richard, 
This is a woman who is married elsewhere with kids. And you decided to end up with her. I thought you were a wise man. I never knew you were such a fool. Hey, hey. Now, I will never have you insult me. I've always known it. You've always have something for me. I can see it in your eyes. But guess what? I don't have a thing for you. Okay? Heaven knows I never wanted you as a husband. As much as I don't have mine yet, I won't settle for a widower like you. Okay? So you get that into your thick skull. Because I'm not as desperate as your so-called dinner. You are making a terrible mistake and you will regret it. For that child has done nothing to deserve this. You hear me? Okay. Now, this is my advice to you. You take good care of Noella and do it for your friend. As for me, I'm running late. So when you're done lamenting, you excuse yourself. Bye-bye. Richard, you disgust me. Thanks for the compliment. <laughs> You're such a big! Dad reject me. What have I done to deserve that? Nothing. You did absolutely nothing. Okay? It's the evil plan of that woman he married. But I pray he realizes himself soon enough before it's too late. But he suddenly changed from the father is to have. I was shocked after talking with him. But the promise I made to your mother, I must fulfill. Okay? I will take care of you. I will raise you up as my own child. Hmm? You have nothing to worry about. You are in safe hands. I want to die and join my mom. She couldn't rescue this situation. Hey! Don't say that. I'm sure dying is not what she wishes for you right now. Wherever she is, she wants you to be happy, so don't disappoint her, okay? Okay, so sweetie. Too. Cheer up, cutie. Cheer up. <laughs> Come here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me quickly prepare something for us today. We did well by sending that stupid girl out of this house. Are we? Yeah. Though I would have preferred you turned her into a maid. My dear, oh no, a maid? Hm. I was afraid if I left that girl one minute in this house, I would kill her with my bare hands. That girl's boldness is so annoying. It's better she goes out there and do her attitude to anybody that cares. Anyway, you did the right thing. And, you know, Hillary thought you wouldn't have survived without him. <laughs> my dear, see me. You do your thoughts that <laughs> the world revolves around him. Mm. You thought I couldn't find another man, you know, if not him. But when I was telling you to leave the animal, what did he say? He's my everything. You've seen it. But would you blame me, girl? Would you blame me? I thought he was somebody I could live with now, but I figured I was wrong. So wrong, I'm telling you. But so, you know, <laughs> Richard, my Richard, he's perfect. I'm telling you, and I'm so imagine. glad, like, he's all mine. I'm, st I'm still thinking if it's a dream or if it's real. That's what that winch wants to come and spoil for me. So where is the stupid girl now? Hi hey there. Hmm. You know me, I sent her away. I think she's with one of my friends who happens to be an enemy of progress. Her name is Mary. Mm -hmm. I think they, they both fit each other. Yeah, I wish them do. well, mm -hmm. seriously. What's that? My boo is coming. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <gasps> For you are the defender of the defenseless, the father to the fatherless, the mother to the motherless, 
you will protect this one you will bless her in the name of jesus a beautiful future shall she have in jesus name for in jesus mighty name i prayed sweethearts you'll be a good girl in school right right high five high five <laughs> sorry let me take you I promised my mom I will become a doctor when I grow up and I will take care of her and I promised I will save her. Really? Wow. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I had several dreams of becoming a doctor but it's sad I couldn't become one and save her. It's okay sweetie. You will become a doctor and save as many moms as possible out there. Mm? Auntie, do you think I'll become a great doctor? Of course. I believe in dreams. So yes, my dear, you will make a fine doctor and perhaps save the whole world. <laughs> Auntie, thank you. You're the closest thing to a mom. May God bless you for accepting me. It's all right, old woman. I'll always be there for you. Hmm? You're just busy talking. Open your mouth. Open! It's... Mm -hmm. You know what? We're dividing this food. This portion is yours and this is mine. First to finish. And I'll take your cook. So, cheers to my doctor. <laughs> Training your brain. Good. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, this is it. I'm gonna fly. <laughs> yes. Yes, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I am yes, Congratulations. Yes. I'm so happy for you. Hey. to mom. Hey. The university teaching hospital, they employed me. As a resident doctor! Hi! I'm so happy! Daddy! I'm oh, so Lord, happy! Lord, I thank you! <laughs> Esther! Esther, she made it though! Yes. I knew it! I knew it! I knew you would make me proud! Yes. I knew it! <laughs> I'm beautiful! Yes. Congratulations! You're a go-getter! You're a go-getter! Mamu! Chai! Mom, I'm so, so happy too. Like, I don't know how to repay you for all the good things you've done to me. Your mother and I, you're everything to me. It's good. Your mom is good. I love you. I love you so much. Hi. Oh, my God. So, so. <laughs> I don't want to talk about your father, please. But mom, he has realized his mistakes. Mm. Please, forgive him. We need you. <sighs> mom, I know what he did was wrong. Oh, please, we need you, mom. Please, we need you. It took your father 17 years, 17 good years to come back to his senses. To realize himself. I don't think that is possible. Besides, I have a husband in this house who I live with. Is it the man you have no child for? We need you, mom. Even dad needs you too. 
Stop whatever you're doing here. It's not right. Is it your father that is right? <sighs> How can I forgive him? No, tell me. He threw me out. You were there. He threw me out like I was nothing. <laughs> I don't think this thing is possible. Because he thought I would not get another man. Mom, please. Come back. Eh? We need you. For the sake of us, your children. Eh? Or do you want to spend your life with a blind man? Uh, I've been hearing some strange voices in this house. It's like we have some visitors. Who are they? Clementina, is this you? Nobody's talking again. Who is here? Oh. You mean it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hi. Daddy. Where is she now? Eh, she just stepped out, not quite long. She went to see her friends with the good news, you know. <laughs> I'm mm. happy for her. I wish she's our child. Hmm? Of course she's our child. Um, although God has not blessed us with our own child, but I've come to accept Noella as my own daughter. I've accepted her too. But we both know the truth. And our father is still alive. He doesn't care if she's alive or dead. We are the only parents she knows. So it's okay to pride ourselves as the proud parents of a brilliant medical doctor. <laughs> Chai! <laughs> well, I, I'm proud of her too. But uh, I, I think we should take her to her father. Especially now that she has gotten a new job and about to start a new life. I'm, I'm not in support of that. The Richard I know he would throw us out of his house. Besides, Noella might not even like the idea. Well, it's important we take her to her father. Let her decide to reject him or not. He has rejected her already. That was a long time ago. Look, honey. I'm not trying to push her away. But she's now an adult. Let her make her decision herself. Her father is still alive. Even though she hasn't asked of her. For a long time now. It's okay. Well, before we pass this information to her, we will first of all try and visit Richard and be sure he's willing to accept her as his daughter. Richard, he will just throw us away. He will throw us away. He will embarrass us. I'm... Well, I, I think we should just try first before we know what to do next. Who is there? Tina, is that you? Tina? Sweetheart, is that you? <laughs> what is it, you old blind man? What do you want from me? Eh? So you now call me a blind man? Tina, you now call me a blind man when you are the cause of my blindness and you, you, you have refused to take me to the hospital for treatment. Okay. Take you to the hospital? With which money? <laughs> you were one big mistake I made in my life and I regret marrying you. So you are saying this to me? Oh, God. Because of you, I, I chased my daughter away. And I married you barely a year, my, my, my wife died. What have you done for me? What have you given me? Have you given me a child? Have you? That is because you are a blind, impotent fool. Oh. You are so cursed, and I regret getting married to you. Yes. Tina, it looks like you want to leave me. Oh yes, I am leaving you. I realized the very moment you went blind that that was God telling me to go back to my husband and children. What are you talking about? 
If you must know, before I met you, I was married to a husband who I have two grown-up kids for. Oh. And they are the ones I am going back to. Please, tell me this is a joke. Tina, tell me you are joking, please. I don't ask them to joke with you. Oh. They are the ones that came the last time and they were telling me to come home. So I have decided to go to them. Oh God, what have I done? Tina, what have you done to me? Tina, you deceived me. Please wait for me. Tina! Oh! Oh! Somebody help me! Somebody help me! Oh! Tina, you can save me! Oh, I'm finished! Help me! Tina, please help me! Somebody is inside. Even the main entrance. They shouldn't leave everywhere open like this now. Let's go inside and find out. I think something is not right. You think so? I have this feeling. Richard! Richard! supposed to bring him here. I hate him. He's your father. I said I hate him. I know. But he needs your help. He needs my help. That man abandoned me when I was a child. He never cared if I was alive or dead. Why? Why should I help him? My dear, because you're a doctor. And saving life comes first before any other thing. So please, my dear, have mercy on him and save his life. Please. You know, I will never refuse anything you ask me. But this. I refuse. Oh, you can. Ella, look at me. Remember you made a promise to your mother that you'll become a doctor and save her life. But I didn't. And that man there is not my family. I know you could not save her. But this is the opportunity to make it up to her. Yes. She will want you to do this for her and your father. He is a poor blind man. Please, you can't let him die. Hmm? Please, my dear, please. everything.
she saved you. Oh, doctor, thank you. Doctor, thank you so much. God bless you. I thought I would never see again. I can see now. Oh. She's not just any doctor. You don't recognize her, do you? No. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. No. Oh, yes. No. She's your daughter. No. Emanuela. Emanuela. Oh, my God. Emanuela. Oh. Emanuela, thank you so much. Mary, this is my daughter. Emanuela, thank you. Thank you. I have sinned against God and I have sinned against you. Emanuela, thank you so much. I'm so sorry. Don't strain your eyes with your tears. Oh, God. Well, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Is that wicked woman, Tina? She deceived me and she abandoned me. Just like you did to me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Please. Please. Please, Please. Please. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. I know I've robbed you. Please. No, I'm not doing it. So you can see. Richard, please. I am sorry. I am so sorry. My children, they deceived me. Please forgive me. Woman, what are you still doing in my house? What are you doing here? Richard, I am apologizing. I am sorry. My children, they, they deceived me. They didn't want me home after all. They only wanted me to come home, only for them to publicly disgrace me and deny me. They said they wanted a payback for me abandoning them. Richard, please. Mm. Just like you are in the habit of abandoning people. Well, the Richard you know, is no longer the man you used to deceive and manipulate. Yes. Yes. As you can see, he has regained his sight. All thanks to my daughter here, Emanuela, the most brilliant surgeon I know. All thanks to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You mean this is Emanuela? Emanuela, I am sorry. Please, I know I wronged you. I am wrong. I am sorry, please. Before I lose it, I want you to go inside, pack your bags and your bad locks out of this house. Yes. Yes, you heard her. <laughs> pack your things and, and, and leave this house. Before I do something, I'll regret. Mary, Mary, please, for the sake of friendship, we are friends. You know me. Please help a friend. What friendship? Hmm? You heard her. Leave. Please. I may not have a child of my own yet. But I have a daughter in Emanuela. Yes. And she has made my husband and I proud. More proud than any biological child could ever do. I am happy and contented. Tina. Are you? Are you? In fact, Richard. you are leaving this job. You are my husband. No, no, Richard. 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 Take this. No, 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 no. Richard, leave this. Leave my house. Leave. Leave with Richard. your Richard. Leave Richard. my house. Richard. You have ruined my life. Richard. Richard, Richard. remember your help, please. No. Take it easy. Let her leave my house now, or else I will, I will, I will commit murder. Leave my house. Richard, 
woman, please leave my house. Leave my house. Leave my house. Leave. Woman. See what you've done to me. See how you 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 you've ruined my life. Wickedness. Wicked woman. I'm very lucky. Calm down, yeah, Dad. Very, very lucky. It's okay. You know what's that? Hmm. We will go inside and pack your bags. Because you are leaving with me. Hmm? Yes. She said I'm leaving with her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to pack my Let's go, Dad. What will now happen to my house? <laughs> hey, my daughter. Don't be funny, Richard. Please. Is this one house? <laughs> Let's go and pack. You can't stay here. Don't be funny. You can't stay here. She said she said come and live with her. I'm coming. <laughs> my daughter. Papa. I'm... Oh, God has blessed me again. Oh.